this place, this field, it definitely wasn't my beginning. It most certainly wasn't my end, but what a place to play. Yeah, I never thought a kid coming out of Eleanor Roosevelt High School could play in a place like this and earn his way to the next level, all the way to the Super Bowl. And there's Thomas and he can't stop it. I'm Jermaine Lewis, wide receiver, kick returner, punt returner for the Baltimore Ravens. Thinking back now, now that I'm a coach, now I'm a parent, sports helped keep me at school, really. I played football, then I ran indoor, then I ran outdoor track, then I ran summer track. It was something I was doing all year round. So I do own some track and field records that still stand today. I'm pretty proud of that. Indoors, my senior year, I was in lane eight, we had the 200 meter dash. So I like fall started on purpose just so I can get everybody tired. I came out real lazy. The next time around, I said, I just gonna go. Boom, I ran, got first place. And they looked at the time, they were like, oh, it's a national record. I really didn't know I was looking. I was like, what? So that translated on the football field. So now when I got in the open, boop, I just hit my track stride and, and that, that pretty much does it. Jermaine Lewis arrived at College Park in 1992, and during his four years there, he set an all-time school record with 193 receptions and another record with 2,932 receiving yards, and those records both hold to this day. Probably a precursor of great things to come occurred in Jermaine's first year with the Terps when he hauled in a 69-yard touchdown pass against Clemson. John Kaleo, he, he was the quarterback. He saw me in the middle. I ran just a simple little in route in the slot. But when I caught it, I got straight up field and it was a foot race. And the, the good part about that story, I found out James Trapp, my former teammate, I mean, he was an Olympic track guy. He was chasing me too on that play. So we used to joke about that uh, in the Ravens locker room. Following his career at Maryland, Jermaine was selected in the fifth round of the first ever draft by the Baltimore Ravens. And what a Raven he would become. Jermaine Lewis may be the most electric player in Ravens history. I mean, when the ball got in his hands, it was incredible. The punt returns, the kickoff returns, and what gets overlooked because he was so good in that area, he was a good receiver and caught nearly a thousand yards worth of passes in a single season. So everybody in the locker room loved him, quick with a smile. He played the game with passion, and none of us will ever forget his kickoff return in Super Bowl 35 that put the Giants away and gave the Ravens the Lombardi Trophy. So I just remember catching the ball. I held the defense up with a nice pick, so I gave a nice stick move at the top. That made everybody shift. The funny part of that story in the beginning, I learned that stick move at the top at practice because our field was so messed up during a playoff run. So I used to wear these big old studs, one-inch cleats at practice. It gave me better footing. And so when I made that cut, at the Super Bowl, it's like I just slingshot it up the field. I start looking at the jumbotron. I always start doing that just to, so I can slow down. That's like your rear view mirror. That's when I knew it was on and I just started pointing at Geronimo because I just kind of knew they kind of guided me. The Lord just guided me through that. Jermaine Lewis is the story of a local kid who made it. First at College Park, then with the Baltimore Ravens. And after his football career, he stuck around to coach amateur football and to serve as a role model. Football is one of the most loved sports around. First, you learn how to work hard. Second, you learn it's not always good results because you're going to lose. <laughs> you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. But it teaches you to keep moving forward. To recap my career, you know, I would say it, it, it was a positive. I wanted to make the Pro Bowl. I did that twice. I wanted to win the Super Bowl. I did that once. And I wanted to first just make the pros. You know, the NFL is for, you know, it's like a little chosen few. So, you know, nowadays I, I preach, when you have a difficult time through life, you can reach back to those days uh, when you were dead tired, but you kept pushing yourself to be better. I'm Baltimore Raven Jermaine Lewis, and I'm a proud member of the Maryland State Athletic Hall of Fame.